Within this cognitive processing track of the master's artificial intelligence, we want to teach students how to understand human thought and behavior by simulating it. I think perception and sensation as well are very fascinating um, fields of research. Um, mainly because uh, a lot of people think that uh, sensation and perception is like something that just happens. While there are so many processes that uh, have to be executed in the brain to be able to actually see what we're seeing. Although cognitive science is something very theoretical, or sounds like, at least, uh, because it has to do with psychology and linguistics, so sometimes it looks like it's theoretical too much, but on the other hand, uh, with the artificial intelligence uh, uh, advances, you actually have this uh, applicability. You will be getting some programming courses from our colleagues in computer science, but from the psychology side, we'll teach you how to actually run an experiment. We study visual perception and consciousness, and um, we also uh, teach in the tools you can use for studying it. So I kind of introduced the, uh, the, the biological mechanisms to students for the first time. And I think this is a really interesting thing to understand because it helps you understand the system that machine learning is trying to imitate. If you want to work in the fields of human-computer interaction or as a data scientist or as a research and developer, uh, you need knowledge both how systems work but also how humans work. So I'm interning here at the hospital uh, and I'm working with some neuroscientists and psychologists to uh, analyze large amounts of patient data in a virtual supermarket and see if we can determine anything about cognitive functioning from that data. We study eye movements in order to understand uh, the visual system. This produces a lot of data and for AI, AI students this can be really interesting because they can use their techniques in order to understand what type of characteristics we find in the data. The teachers are, in this track are really open, um, hearing suggestions for future research, but also suggestions how things can maybe get better or how, uh, how we can develop the master to be even better than it is. Part of the reason I, why I chose to come here specifically is because uh, it offers the opportunity to learn a lot of the new and upcoming uh, technologies available for psychology and neuroscience and other sort of like um, psychological sciences in particular, cognitive science. I chose to study AI in Utrecht because I really like the, the broad approach of AI and the interdisciplinary character of the program. And this multidisciplinary approach, or maybe even interdisciplinary approach, is I think very important for students of the future. It's important to be very good at one discipline, but it's also important to look over your discipline and combine it with other uh, disciplines. After my graduation, I, uh, I'm thinking of following data science uh, career or, uh, or becoming a, an artificial intelligence specialist. I think that in automotive there is a lot of things that could be improved and it's also a big impact sector where you could have a big impact. Automotive would be really interesting for me. One of my dreams for the future is to use machine learning in order to uh, get these biomarkers out of eye movement data in order to predict clinical diseases. We hope to welcome you soon in Utrecht.